Already first pass. Look at that beautiful smallmouth right there. There's fish. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's a pike. Getting ready for a big old trip this weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I was starting to get like <laughs> in the car, see that lady next to us. I got stuck at all her rods and I couldn't get in. Yeah, we're just getting made fun of today. I, I, She's laughing at me. Oh my gosh, this is hot. Okay, so we stopped at Duncan in the gas station. A few of them. Oh! <laughs> he just. <laughs> Dude, this guy be so hot. It's on my pants! Anyways, as I was saying, we took a quick pit stop to fuel up our bodies with some donuts and fuel up the car with some gas. We're gonna get back on the road and head out to where we're going. You guys don't know where we're going, but we're doing something cool. We're at the spot here, guys. We're in the middle of the woods. The car is still running, but that's completely fine. We're in the woods here, as I just said. Got my coffee. There's actually a river back there. It's not just woods. And we're gonna slay some smallies. That's the plan for the day. We got Danny behind the camera, and we're also gonna do some camping tonight, so it's gonna be a sick little mini series. So y'all be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of it. We had to scale down mountains to get here, but we're at the river. This place should be loaded theoretically with smallmouth and or pike. We got Ned Riggs tied on, you got a popper? Yes, sir. I got a popper, so we might try some top water. We'll see how the day goes. Hopefully we can slay him. Already, already first cast? Already first Wait, let, cast? let's oh. double, let's double. Literally first cast. I told you it's gonna be loaded. That, like, literally that was first cast. She's not a big one, but it's all right. Nice little river small jaws right there. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm... There's a fish. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's a pike. I think that's pikey boy. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, there he is. Come here, bud. Yes, sir. I knew it, dude. Freaking slaying him. Yep. You settle down now. All right, literally like two minutes later from Danny's first Smalley, we got our second species on the day. Big old toothy boy right here. All right, brother's gonna have to calm down. Pike are always just an absolute mess to handle, but it's not a bad one for this creek or river. I'm sure there's plenty bigger ones in here. Definitely some Mondos, but we're gonna keep rolling on the day. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I mean, we already slaying them at the first spot, so I got a lot of hope for the rest of the day. So sick, dude. Let's go. Let's put it in there, buddy. Yep, guys, look at this line. It is super frayed just from that one little pike. Always gotta check your line after catching pike, you know. Dude, he frayed that up like six, seven inches. That's crazy. This is how, I feel this is how it always goes. You catch fish like right in the first like couple minutes and then nothing, then you get nothing. I'm hoping it doesn't stay, I'm hoping it doesn't go like that. I'm hoping it stays fired up, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. All right guys, the reel I'm using in today's video is my PC Fun Carbon X2 1000 size spinning reel. I absolutely love ultralight gear when you're out fishing for smallmouth on the river. It just makes the fight so much more fun. And when you're slinging around Ned Rigs, it's just perfect, perfect setup for this type of fishing. So if you wanna pick one up for yourself, just uh, click the link in the description, use this code right here, save yourself some money on some awesome reels. Oh, River Smallies, dude. Yes, sir. She ain't big, but bigger than the first one. Second Smallie of the day. It's a little bigger than the first one, so we'll take it. Look at that beautiful smallmouth right there. She ain't big, but it's all right. See ya. Oh. Dude, put her there. We're just slaying them today. We got three fish, what, in the first like 10 minutes? Yep. I mean, hopefully it stays like this. All right, I'm gonna work my way up here to where the rapids are flowing in. I think there's gonna be a Mondo up here. Theoretically, you know? Oh wait, there's a fish. 
It's a Dinkers. This is a little boy. This is a tiny one. But we got him. Where is he? Is, is it a rock bass or something? I don't even know. What do I have? Oh, is it is it probably a little smally? Oh yeah, just a dinky smally. <laughs> Up he goes. Dude, look at how cute this little dude is. He ain't a big one, but that's my first smallie of the trip, so I will definitely take it. I mean, we're still at the first spot here, and we already have four fish. It's gonna be a great time. I just love coming out in the middle of the woods, right off a trail. There was like two or three other cars in the entire parking lot of this park. Absolutely no one out here today, just us and some smallies and pike. Doesn't get much better than that. He's a feisty one. Oh. He's gone, I was trying to get a cool shot of him, but he didn't want that, it's fine. See, this is what's nice about fishing rivers in the summertime. You don't need waders, you can just step in the water, it's nice and cool. Feels great, honestly. You just get a pair of Crocs and you're good to go. I mean, one bad thing about Crocs is that you get filled with rocks, but it's fine, it don't matter. There is a bunch of bugs on top of the water. I'm really thinking that top water might be the move. But at the same time, I just have so much confidence in Ned Rigs for smallmouth that I just like, it's hard for me to switch up from it. There's a fish. Yep, there he is. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, it feels like, I mean, I would say it's feels like a decent one, but I am fighting him up current, so it's probably a dink. But I am just happy I'm catching some fish, dude. Come here. Oh yeah, just a little bronzy. Nothing special. But dude, catching fish in rivers. So much dang fun. Come here, buddy. Up he goes. Just look at the colors in that bronzy right there. Such a beautiful fish. They're so colored up and so beautiful up here. Or up out here. We're not even that far up north of Michigan, but I do want to do a lot more camping trips coming out to remote places like this and just fishing rivers for smallies. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to make it happen for y'all. See you later, Bronzy. There's a bunch of like minnows zooming around over here. I don't really know what they are. Oh, those are baby smallies, dude. Baby smallmouth. And then there's like some sort of like log perch, it looks like. I don't know, a bunch of minnows. I should have brought like a two liter bottle and did a little minnow trap there. That would have been dope. Catching baby smallies in minnow trap, that sounds like a great idea. I mean, river smallies just they just stay on top it is undefeated i don't know what it is but there's this little like back creek section that runs off of the river and this water is literally like 50 degrees it is absolutely freezing and the water looks like blue i don't know what it is but this looks like a super cool spot there's no fish in it but it's pretty cool i just thought i'd share that with you guys the water is literally like 20 degrees colder here than it is in the river it's insane On this nice, nice little flat rock. How much you think I'm getting, Joey? Like two. Nah, we're going for seven. Let's get one. <laughs> hey, redo that. All right, one more try. First, first try. Everyone knows it doesn't count. You gotta get like square with the wire or something. Dude, how do you skip stones? I'm gonna show them how it's done. Look at this beautiful flat circle rock. This is the this is the beast mode skipper. Whatever that means. All right, here we go. It's like just like playing frisbee. <laughs> I got more than you. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> Dude, how do people do this? There's fish. Yes, sir. Another one. Oh, probably just another little smolly. But they just feel so much fun in that current and on the tiny light gear that I have. Nice little piece of fun carbon X2. This thing gets the job done. Oh my gosh, he's pulling. He is pulling. It's another Dinkers, but it's fine. Up he goes. That's just the one thing I love about smallmouth is like all of them have like different patterns. Like this one's a little bit lighter than the other ones. It's just so much fun catching these little bronzies, dude. They're probably like coming up to my favorite fish to catch now with smallmouth. I just absolutely love these things. Send him on his way. See you later, little buddy. I think this is the most prepared I've ever been for a trip before. Aren't you like kind of scared right now? Yeah, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I might have to go away. I, mean, I actually brought like snacks, food, everything that we need. Like I'm like over prepared for this trip. Usually I kind of just like wake up in the morning. I'm like, all right, let's go somewhere. And then I just go. But this time I actually taught a little bit of thought. Oh, got it. Oh, I had a bite. Dang him. Oh, Smalley, Smalley, took, Smalley just took it. He's really small, so I'm gonna let him take it a little bit. I still see the bait. We're gonna let him take it. 
It's a really small smallie, but I don't even care. Now he's, he's still holding the bait. Oh. Okay, the GoPro just literally like just shut off on me. And then the smallie, the smallie flopped in the water. But there's a few more out there. Let's see if we can get them to bite next. Oh, another one's following it. Oh yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna bite it. Oh, he just, he just bit it. Same exact thing, we're gonna let him eat it. There he is, we got him, we got him. Yes, sir. Dude, I'm slaying him off this little bridge. Come here, buddy. It's a little tiny small jaw. Oh, he, he did the exact same. Okay, I can't show them to you guys. They're just flopping right off. But they're all just under this little tree. Let's flip it out there again, see if another one comes out of nowhere. Nope, I think that was the only two. Well, this side of the dam is a lot more difficult to fish. But we're gonna give it our best shot. But it does look like it gets a lot deeper over here and calmer rapids, which I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt the fishing. But we're about to find out. Dude, is that, is that a rock bass? I think it's a rock bass. Oh no, it's a little smallie. We are just playing little micro fish today, aren't we? But that's not a nice little smallmouth. We'll always yeah. take a smallmouth. Catching anything in the river is always fun. I believe I can fly. Perfect. Turn your head, buddy. Oh, he sees it. He wants nothing to do with it. Oh, but another one's coming in. Oh, he's crushing it. He's swimming with it. He dropped it. Oh, the other one's coming. The other one's got it. The other one's got it. Come here, bud. Yes, sir. Another little bridge smallie. I just switched up to a tiny little tube. Came out to micro fish for these dudes by the bridge. There's just a ton of little dudes chilling down here. All right, we're gonna send him back down and see if we can get another one. Yo, oh yeah, oh, he ate it, he crushed it. Come here, bud. Yes, sir. Dude, that was sick. Oh, my GoPro wasn't even recording, it's fine. Dude, that's the biggest one that I caught at this little. There he goes. Oh, there's one. He's got it. Don't let him eat it, it's a small one though. He crushed it, he crushed it. Come here. Oh, that's why we put on the micro lure to catch these little micro smallmouth. I mean, I don't really care about the size. I just like the, the experience out here in the middle of the woods. Came out to a small little runoff of that river and just catching some tiny smallies. It's so much fun. It's super, super cool. Down he goes. Doing some rock climbing now. How's the view up there? All right, we just pulled up to our site here, just parked in. We're gonna set up our tent here. It's actually backed up to a creek. Maybe there's some fish in there. I don't see any, but you never know. Anyways, it's a vibe right now, that's for sure. All right, I got my little rod with a tiny little uh, tube. We're gonna try to catch one of these little creek fish. I see a bunch swimming down there right now. Oh my gosh. There, oh, dude, there's big ones down there. Oh my gosh, there he is, got him. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Dude, these are just some big old shiners right there. Look at that little dude, right in our backyard for the night. That is so cool. Anyways, I'm gonna stop being distracted by these fish and get the tent set up. All right, this tent's like 75 years old, but we're gonna try to figure it out. All right, this is our home for the next night. You already tired? Yes, sir. Dude, I'm gassed. Well, we still got a whole night's of fishing ahead of us. We gotta cook up some grub first. Uh, um, I may or may not be ashamed to say this, but it took me 20 minutes to get this thing started with lighter fluid, but it's fine. We have it started now. We're gonna cook some dogs. Not actual dogs, hot dogs, guys. Don't worry. I don't have mustard. We don't have anything. Yeah, we barely even had enough fire to cook this. We can't start fires. Give a burnt hot dog. Uh -huh. with that was a great time. But at least we got to cook these before the fire already went out. It's great, We're, it's going great. Come here, buddy. That feels like a good one. That is a good one, dude, that's a good fish. Uh-oh, can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know. I wanna know